G'day viewers, and it's the end of the week, which means it's time once more for Totally Fucked Up Friday, where I celebrate the fact that I'm right to hate the world and everyone in it, because it's all totally fucked up. Let's start with thinking about what it's like to be adopted. You may be adopted, you may know someone who's adopted. It's reasonably common for people who are adopted to end up wanting to find out who their birth parents are. Now, Los Angeles-based DJ Matthew Roberts was in that boat. He's 41, and he's wanted to know who his dad was, and after a bit of investigation, he found who his real dad was. Now, you can tell, this is not going to be a hallmark moment. This is not going to be a movie of the week on the Oprah network. I wouldn't be talking about it otherwise. You know this is going to turn out to be a totally fucked up result. But you may not predict just how fucked up. Because it turns out this guy's father is Charlie fucking Manson. Yes, Mr. Satan swastika in the forehead serial killer Manson. Hmm, can you just imagine, for years he's gone this, I feel like there's something missing in my life, I need to know more about myself, and now he's stuck with, oh fuck, I miss those days when there was something missing in my life. He, he said he was depressed when he discovered up. Well, thank fuck you were depressed. It would be really disturbing if you weren't depressed to discover that. And seriously, just look at the family resemblance. Is that freaky or what? Dude, get a haircut and shave. That's all I'm saying. And speaking of crazies, let's talk Scientology. Now, the Scientologists have been copping a bit around the world lately, had a bad court ruling against them in France, and in Australia, an independent senator has used what's called parliamentary privilege to read out some allegations of criminal behaviour uh, about Scientology. Now, what parliamentary privilege is, is you can say stuff that would otherwise get you, like, sued for defamation and they can't touch you because it's how they unearth the truth in the parliament. So he said all this stuff, he's repeated uh, allegations from letters people sent uh, to him about what he says is evidence that Scientology is not a religion, it's a criminal activity, they're a cult and they should be stopped and Scientology were predictably upset at that but that was just the start. Then Prime Minister Kevin Rudd said he shares the concerns and it's going to be looked at and there may be an actual inquiry into is Scientology a legitimate religion or are they a dangerous bunch of criminals? Not good times for Scientology. Speaking of which, we had a little mini gathering here in Melbourne recently and we were roaming around as a group shooting videos and we passed the Scientology headquarters in Melbourne. So I said, hey, hey, let's do an impromptu protest. We don't have our Guy Fawkes masks, but we're not scared of them. Let's do it anyway. And I just got to say, it really didn't work out how I planned. Yeah, I think that's what the kids call fail. But for me, as a protest, that 